Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the post-match review between Atletico Madrid and FC Barcelona. So today FC Barcelona did play and we did tie two two so we did score two goals today but one of them was an own goal and one of them was from Lionel Messi and so in this match I am going to get straight to the point I think that this was a very entertaining match I think Barcelona did what they had to do and they simply did all they could and there was some controversial calls that I do want to talk about just for a little bit right one of them was about Carrasco running into the box and as he was running into the box this player from Atletico Madrid did trip himself and Semedo was right behind him and so since the ref was in a position where he thought that Semedo did trip Carrasco in the box, they were awarded a penalty. And if we look at the replay, we can see that it is no foul. We can see that this player from Atletico Madrid did trip himself. And so I have no idea why the ref did call this as a penalty, but it did end up going into a penalty and they did score. And that's what cost us the 2-2 tie and that's as far as i'm going to go when it comes to these conspiracy theories about having the refs being paid from like real madrid because they do want to win the league or the league is in favor of madrid i'm not going to go into that area there was some controversial calls but i'm not going to go too deep into that the reason why i don't want to go into that is because if we do talk about that and say that that's the reason why we did tie we are just going to end up pointing fingers and we don't want to point fingers right that is not us that is not fc barcelona we're not that type of team that's going to say that's their fault it's his fault that we haven't won the league we do not point fingers we need to do our job and the reason why i'm saying that is because if we look over the past 10 years right the past 10 years since 2008 and 2009 we have went through 10 Spanish league seasons and in those 10 Spanish league seasons we won eight La Ligas and within those 10 league seasons there has been multiple seasons where the league were in favor of having Madrid win supposedly right because there has been so many times where we were put in a position where there were many controversial calls but in the end Barcelona were able to pursue through that and win the league and the reason why we were able to win the league even though they did have those controversial calls from the refs is because we were too good there was no call no decisions that could have affected us because Barcelona were simply too good and that's my point is that now that we are here now we are in a point in a time where these type of calls can affect us and can cost us the league and so this is only meaning one thing is that we need to check ourselves right why did we drop into a level and to a point where these calls and these decisions from the ref can affect our chances of winning the league because clearly we have dropped a level and and history does tell that and so in this match look we did tie against Atletico Madrid 2-2 and judging based off this scoreline right many people would say okay Atletico Madrid had 50% possession Barcelona had 50% possession but if we look at the final stats of this match Barcelona had 72% possession. Atletico Madrid didn't even have 30% possession. So what does that mean? It means that Barcelona have yet fallen into a game where Barcelona do have around 70% possession, yet the opposing team, the opposition, either get the same result as FC Barcelona or a better result. And that should really concern FC Barcelona because they should ask themselves and say, okay, we are, ha we are having all of this possession in the game, yet the other team is scoring the exact same amount of goals as us. And look, we have improved when it comes to becoming more athletic, which in results makes us press better and in result makes us win the ball back faster, which is why we do gain the possession. But then when we do gain that possession, all of us ask, okay, now what are we going to do with it? And that's where the question does arise for Kiki Setien, because does he even have the capabilities to move this Barcelona team forward and become lethal and threatening again like we once did four to five years ago? Was this the result that we were expecting back Back in January where we did say Kike Setien can bring that attacking force again and look I'm not going to fully talk about Kike Setien there could be another question where we can say maybe we just don't have the right players and notice how I say the right players I'm not saying maybe we don't have good players I'm saying maybe we just don't have the right players meaning that we make bad selections in the transfer window we just don't bring the right players that fit in this team and that can make us question what is the sporting department doing who are they bringing in why are they bringing them in why do they continue to make these mistakes because in tonight's game right in the 90th minute we did see Antoine Griezmann come into the pitch meaning that he only played two to three minutes and this Antoine Griezmann player did cost us 120 
20 million. And so what are we doing here? And so could this match between Barcelona and Atletico Madrid make the board members schedule a meeting where they do have to talk about Kike Setien? Could there be a meeting where they're going to analyze the past five games? Because if we look at the past five games, we have had three ties and that is simply not good enough three ties in the past five matches is not good enough Barcelona needs to convert better especially with all of this possession that we do retain throughout these matches and so now I do want to lean towards the positives I do believe that there was some positives in this match regardless of what happened in tonight's match and one of them was about Lionel Messi so yes Lionel Messi did score his 700th goal in today's match he did score a penalty but it was not just a normal penalty it was a slow chip into the box and it was absolutely perfect and with that being said overall Messi did look amazing in tonight's match he did look like he was in shape he was running all around the box I do actually see Lionel Messi pressuring a lot more running a lot more making those runs to receive the ball and the other player that I do want to talk about is about Ricky Puj and you guys knew this was coming Ricky Puj did start in today's match and I was actually very surprised to see Ricky Puj start in today's match especially against Atletico Madrid one of the most toughest opponents we do play in the league and one may think that Ricky Puj is simply just not tough enough or physical enough to play against a Atletico Madrid side under Simeone but Ricky Puj did play excellent and when we did see Ricky Pouge on the field he was just a breath of fresh air I love what Ricky Pouge is bringing to the table he is recovering the ball and when he does recover the ball he wants to bring that ball into the final third area as soon as possible and that is exactly what Barcelona needs because we do have a lot of players who pass on the side or pass backwards and Ricky Pouge does the exact opposite of that and so I really do applaud Ricky Pouge on trying to bring that extra threat into the final third area. And I also did really enjoy that little combat and clash between Ricky Pouge and Thomas Party. It was really fun to see that because we all know that Thomas Party is much more physical and much more prepared when it comes to 1v1s on the ball compared to Ricky Pouge. But we did see Ricky Pouge really try and fight for that ball and there was moments where Ricky Pouge did fail against Party, but that's okay because sometimes we did see Ricky Pouge actually win that ball and that's more than enough for me because progress is simply better than no progress and Ricky Pouge is improving this is much better than the Ricky Pouge that we did see three to four months ago and so I'm happy for him and I really do think that besides Ansu Fati I think that Ricky Pouge is the most exciting La Masia product and player that's coming out from the Barcelona B team. And I think from here and now on, Ricky Puj should start in every match. There's a, there should be no reason for Ricky Puj to sit on the bench because he is bringing something that Barcelona were really struggling on, which is bringing that ball into the final third as soon as possible. And that is why Ricky Puj continues to play because he is bringing something new to his game and Barcelona's game. And if we look at the heat map right here, we can see Ricky Puj's heat map and Lionel Messi heat map and one might question right is how is Ricky Puj getting all of this freedom and if we really study this heat map here we can see that Messi and Ricky Puj they're having some form of respect when giving each other space we can see Ricky Puj being very effective on that left side and we can see Lionel Messi be very effective on that right side and so it's like they know where to be and they know where not to be and that is why we see Ricky Puj really be creative when attacking and lastly I want to talk about two players that did start in this match and those two players is Suarez and Nelson Semedo but most importantly Luis Suarez because Luis Suarez has been showing a massive decline and because Suarez is showing a massive decline because he's not showing the results that we used to see two to three years back we do question Kike Setien and ask him like why are you still starting Luis Suarez because every time we do see Luis Suarez play on the field he does not look fit enough to play 90 minutes and who knows Luis Suarez may not even have the capabilities to play a full 90 minutes and so we are really questioning like what is making Luis Suarez start in every match could that possibly mean that there is favoritism in the locker room look we we have Suarez playing on that field showing that he's not ready for 90 minutes and then on the bench we have a player who cost 120 million euros named Antoine Griezmann. There was multiple scenarios where we could have put Antoine Griezmann earlier in that match but Griezmann continues to not play in the starting 11 or even play a full match. It's almost like Ike Setien knows that Griezmann is not capable enough to play for FC Barcelona and that he wants him out or something because it does not hurt 
to try and put Antoine Griezmann in that number nine role. And so something has to change. If something is not working when attacking, you have to change something. And one of those changes could have been Antoine Griezmann for Luis Suarez and Setien did talk about Griezmann even more and he said those on the pitch were doing well I will not apologize to him but I will talk to him tomorrow and as for Nelson Semedo like we all know Nelson Semedo does not provide anything going forward nor going back there's been multiple times where Lionel Messi was trying to build something with Semedo again but it did not work out meaning that there could be a possibility that Barcelona might spend a good amount of time to address that right back position maybe they might bring in a different right back. Maybe they might drop Nelson Semedo. We don't know, but that right back position needs to be addressed. It needs to improve as soon as possible if Barcelona want to compete for the biggest title in Europe. And so with this 2-2 tie, this does leave us in second place. And if Madrid win tomorrow, Real Madrid will be four points clear from Barcelona. Three weeks ago, Barcelona were two points clear from Madrid. And now we might potentially be in a position where we are going to be four points behind Real Madrid. The chances of us winning the league continues to decline and who knows, with this result, this could have potentially make Kike Setien and FC Barcelona part ways. Let me know what I missed. Let me know what you did like about this match, what you did not like about this match. And if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.